Hey y'all, welcome back to Mom Before Life. My name is Trina and today I have a Sam's Club grocery haul for y'all. Um, I do want to let y'all know that Sam's Club is like a pretty, pretty much I go there like once a month. So I stock up on meat, um, some meat items, not all my meat, but like some of my meat. Uh, I get after school snacks for the kids. I get snacks for the kids and I get drinks as well. So if you're new here, I just want to, you know, preface that just in case you, you get here and start asking where the where the fresh produce is. It's, it's, it, it was bought from Walmart. It's it's already been put up the days ago. It's, it's, it's been here, okay? Here go, here go some of it. Just a little bit. There goes some oranges. Is that oranges? No, that's grapefruit. But here goes some of it, right? And there goes the rest of it. My kids do not care about how they put the stuff up. But as you can see, we have, we have you know, the fresh produce. Don't, don't come here with that, okay? I just, I just want to say, don't come here with that. But anyways, um, I spent $374.37. And my Sam's Cash, I used to get a broom. Two brooms. So um, let me go ahead and get into this haul. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this haul. And as you can see, I did put the prices on the items for y'all because I know that's how y'all y'all like it. So I try to be a little bit different than everybody else. And that's my thing. I like to put the prices on it. Not saying that nobody else does that, but I haven't seen anyone else do that. So um, yeah, enough rambling. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I've seen these chicken bites were discounted. I can't remember exactly how much they took off. But they were twelve ninety eight for three and a half pounds of chicken, which I thought that was a good price. They I got the um I got the kids the buffalo style, so that's supposed to be spicy. And then I got them the honey barbecue. I got some queso. These are tall. I'm trying to see twenty three ounces. So I got two. It's a it's two twenty three ounce jars for seven dollars and ninety eight cents. The children have been asking for pickles to go with their hamburgers and, you know, little sandwiches and stuff. So, I think this is a good deal because you're probably going to spend this amount of money for a much smaller one. This one is 64 ounces. If you don't spend $4 for a much smaller one, you're definitely going to spend like a dollar less. So, I'd rather just go ahead and get the big jar that's going to last versus getting a smaller jar. So this is a very old item for me. I got this like years, years ago. Like I want to say like maybe 10 years ago when I first started to, um, when I first started couponing, I got this right here. They were free. They were on sale for 10 for 10 and there was a 50 cent coupon that doubled y'all don't ask me how i know the coupon deals from 10 years ago i just do okay i think that's just part of being a couponer you remember your deals <laughs> not as good of a deal as back then but still is decent and it's actually really good like if you've never tried this before definitely try it pretty much chicken and it's stuffed with cheese and broccoli i think that's a real good combo i'm not gonna lie to you i like that combo but yes yeah, a six pack for 12 dollars and 58 cents one of the boys asked for cheesecake bites to share with their brother so i got this one i got this one a couple months ago i don't believe it was this much but it's seventeen dollars and forty eight cents, and you get sixty three bites. I'm gonna have to go back and look at my older videos to see how much this was, cause yeah, I, I don't remember it being this expensive. Uh, this right here definitely a good deal. I got a box of this from I want to say Walmart. It was four, so it's four for five ninety eight, and this right here is twelve for ten dollars and ninety eight cents, so a little bit less than a dollar. A pack that's really good they weren't good enough to spend as much as they were asking for without that rebate but 12 for 1098 i definitely can do the teenager asked for some mozzarella sticks so 1698 again i don't believe they were this expensive last time i grabbed them i want to say they were about 14 dollars. i got five pack of the spaghetti so this is the sam's club brand a little bit less than a dollar a pack because you do get a six pack and i got some chicken broth for some meals i got coming up six pack for eight dollars and 48 cents I grabbed two boxes, it's 10 count boxes of tuna. It is $9.69. I got a three pack of the Classico spaghetti sauce. Now I will say I normally grab the Prego and the, uh, what is the other one, Ragu. And I did not know they had so much sugar in them. So I already have a sweet tooth as is. And I don't know, I feel like in stuff that I don't need it to be sweet, I don't want all that extra sugar because then I feel super guilty about eating the stuff that is sweet, that I know is sweet. So I'd rather not do that. Yeah, th this one right here, I want to say, y'all, look at me like turning y'all all upside down. Um, this one doesn't have any added sugars. So this is good, but I have a lot of, I watch a lot of videos that suggest this one over this one but look at the price difference 
$9.54, which this is still expensive for a three pack. And you get what, 32 ounces. So six, six pounds of spaghetti sauce for $9.54 versus this right here, 22 ounces. You only get two for $9.98. Like, don't tell me that it's, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you definitely could make your own sauce, okay? But I still feel like it would kind of equal out the same amount. I don't know. We'll have to try. Maybe maybe I'll do that on my channel, make my own spaghetti sauce just to see how much money it is to make it myself. So, y'all, I have never seen these before. Tortilla pockets. I don't know. I've never seen these before. So, I thought this was kind of cool to try with the kids. I got six pack of elbow noodles, 548 cents less like i said less than a dollar for each one like 91 cents um i grabbed this for the kids to make them some croissant breakfast sandwiches eight dollars and 94 cents and i'm not gonna lie i don't know if this is a good deal or not because this is not something i buy all the time oh and let me guys show you guys the juice so i got a 24 count of the snapple juice this has definitely gone up 19 dollars and 88 cents i don't know if I've seen that in store. I, I don't know. I got some turkey breast for the kids for sandwiches, $10.67. And then we got some black forest ham for $7.54. Then we always got to get the cheese, 42 slices for $7.98. Really good deal on the bread, y'all. I love their rolls, okay? I can't tell you, last time I got these rolls, like, I probably ate half the bag by myself. Like, they are so good. And because I eat so terrible and like I go hours without eating or forget to eat breakfast and lunch and then I got to run out the door and go grab the kids. I have no shame in saying I'll probably grab like two of these out the door just so I don't, you know, <laughs> just so I don't fall out. <laughs> but it's a 24 count for $2.98, normally four, which is decent. It's really good deal for the rolls and they are soft. Okay, they're really soft. They're really good. But um, I'll definitely take that little extra dollar off. Because, honey, savings is what? Savings. I also got the two-pack of bunny bread. This is $3.65 for two. So $1.80, which is real good. Because if you shop at, like, Kroger, I want to say their bread is, like, $2 for just the, the Kroger brand. It's $2. So that, that's a definitely a decent deal. I got some croissants. 12-pack for $6. Got a 12-pack of honey buns for six dollars and 52 cents 15 count of the little muffins for twelve dollars and 48 cents 35 cans of dr pepper for seventeen dollars and 78 cents and then we got our oh let me go ahead and do the pomegranate juice so nine dollars and 38 cents for the big 60 ounce um i got some chicken thighs for 7.95 got some wings for seven seventeen fifty three and some chicken breast for $15.20. Um, y'all, I'm not gonna lie, this salmon, the salmon made me a little sick. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. The salmon price made me a little sick. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I think I was trying to hurry up and move because y'all know I have social anxiety. And so, um, if you don't, I, I don't really like being around a lot of people. And, like, being around a lot of people, and especially, like, big stores like that. And, yeah, I just I just really try to hurry up and get up out of here. So, I thought that this said 33 right? And it said $5 off sounds. So I was like, $28. That's definitely more than what I normally pay. But, at, you know, I don't really think you're going to get a better price on the salmon anywhere else. So I went on ahead and grabbed it, y'all. Tell me why it was actually $38.72. So it's really $33. Like, I'm sick. <laughs> but I only grabbed one. It's okay. We don't eat salmon all the time. I get it mostly for my teenager. And usually I'm able to make it into like two or three meals for him. Well, I say more so two meals. Like two meals for him and maybe a lunch. So it, it's okay. Oh, it's so funny. My teenager just asked me to make some Kool-Aid pickles because we I haven't made them in years. So um, I've seen this Kool-Aid punch, $8.98. And that is a lot. That's a big container. Five pounds. Like, that's crazy. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. I'm not a Kool-Aid drinker. I hate Kool-Aid. It's like the only thing we got when we were kids um, outside of water. And I don't know. I think they just Kool-Aid us out. <laughs> so uh, it's definitely not something I get. 
but um like i said teenager was asking for kool-aid pickles um and then when we were passing by the pickles we went on ahead and grabbed this jar six dollars and 34 cents this is a gallon altogether. Then we got some Lifesaver mints, $10.48 for three pounds, y'all. This lasts a while. And this is something I can give my little ones too because I don't know about y'all, but my kids are like real annoying when it comes to gum and that's why I don't give it to them because, honey, they'll take their gum out and next thing you know, it's on the seat or it's on the floor. Like, I prefer the mints. I give the gum to my teenager, but every, all the youngest three, no. So the mints is more for them, but I didn't see the gum I liked. So I went on ahead and just grabbed another bag of mints for everybody. This was $374.37 for everything. Let me know, do you guys think this was a good deal or not? I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.